since I've been back from being abroad. I got back around four days ago. So I'm still in this whole like getting back from Rome situation. I wake up super early in the morning, go to sleep super early as well because I'm so used to being over there. But in this video, not gonna talk about this look that I have on because I tried and it failed. But in this video, I'm going to talk about my experience abroad overall, and I hope that you enjoy this video. Okay, guys, so like I said before, you're going to hear about like all my little tidbits about study abroad, being in Italy, and all that stuff. So first things first, if you haven't watched any of Liz Takes Italy, I don't know why you've come to this video right here but please go watch at least one or two of those so you can see some of my adventures while abroad you know um you can't hear it but my song is on <laughs> and basically um i was in rome italy for about four and a half five months and it was super fun um my school campus was about i want to say like 15 minutes walking from the vatican like 20 25 minutes from like the Spanish Steps, um, the Pantheon, Trevi Fountain, just like all like the Italian like monuments and things that you would like want to see, you know? Um, studying abroad is an amazing opportunity. I would suggest for anybody, if you have the capability and like finances to go and do so, to take advantage of it and please go study abroad, even if it's for, maybe not for a semester if you, if like you're like super homesick or something like that, but just like get the experience to like get out of your school campus because like you can meet so many amazing people not just like in the country that you go to but also like within your school that you would like never speak to before so throughout my um let's take italy vlog series you've seen like some of my friends that i go hang that i've hung out with the entire semester and like i've seen them before on campus like we hang out like kind of in the same circles but not really but like us being away from like my school and actually being able to like chill with each other like made us like super good friends and those are people that I call friends now. So being in Italy, of course, there's the Italian culture of talking with your hands, um, the pizza, the pasta, the penne, which is bread if you don't know what that is, and just like aperitivo which is basically like a cocktail hour where you basically just pay for your drinks and like they give you unlimited food or it's like a buffet style type of thing depending on where you go which i miss greatly i wish they did that in america um pizza is a lot different in italy but it's still pizza and i think i won't be eating pizza for a good month or so so there's that <laughs> and then um yeah Studying abroad is amazing. Italy is amazing. Um, and, mm, huh. Did I post that? I'm trying to think about my vlog series now. I definitely posted um, a night out in Italy at my one of my favorite clubs, Cube, which I also miss. But, um, forgot what I was going to say. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> while being abroad, a lot of my friends and family, like, they contacted me. Like, when we would talk, they would be like, oh, so, like, what is it like? Like, I heard, like, Italian guys, they really like black women, this, that, the other. And they like us, don't lie, because, like, we're popping. But <laughs> it's, it's more so of a fetish, I want to say. Just because I found out while being over there that one in two um, sex workers in Italy are actually black. Yeah, if, yeah, I wanna say black. Yeah, are black. So they have like kind of the stigma in their mind of what like brown skin, darker women are supposed to be, or just like any like black. Cause like even like my light skin friends, like they would get talked to and stuff like that. Um, there have been instances where I've been in a club or like just walking 
out like late, like coming back from dinner or something, and like a guy would be like yelling at me from across the street, just some things that I can't repeat in this video. And then um, in the club, like a guy actually like came towards me, like trying to like grab me and like kiss me. And it's just like, they're very aggressive type of people. If you don't tell them like, stop, chill out, <laughs> like they will keep on trying to come at you, you know? So it was, it was that type of thing. Um, of course I enjoyed it a lot. They try to, um, Italian people, like they really try to make an effort to speak English and which was like very helpful because some countries that you go to, like they just speak that language. Like they won't speak English to you at all. And like some Italians, they know like words here and there, you know? So there's that, um, traveling while abroad is actually another super fun thing to do so you're not just stuck on campus every weekend my school is fortunate enough that they give us fridays off so i only had classes monday to thursday and then i had friday saturday sunday um <clears throat> off to like go travel italy or like go somewhere else so if you watch liz takes italy you've seen that i've also been to barcelona as well as amsterdam um, my round trip ticket to Barcelona was literally only 90 euros, which I believe is equivalent to $110, which traveling to another country is not that bad, you know what I mean? Um, I've also traveled to Amsterdam. Amsterdam was more expensive just because it was um, during springtime. Um, it was during my spring break, and it was also um, tourist season, so that's another reason why it was more expensive, so... For anyone traveling abroad, I would say, like, travel, like, more so in the beginning when, like, a lot of people aren't really there. Spring semester-wise, I don't know how it is for fall semester, but that's just my little tidbit on that. Um, I'm trying to think. I realized that I never made a video about my actual academics while abroad. Um, so while being there, I took four in-person classes and I took one class online. Um, I took anthropology, metaphysics, Italian two, as well as religions of the world. And then my online class was sports communications. And um, I wanna say like, if you're doing an online class while abroad, make sure that your teacher knows that you're abroad and that there is a time difference. Um, for myself, it worked in my favor because I was six hours ahead of everybody else who was in um, New York doing their work. Um, but like when it came to things like me being um, away for spring break, I had to email my professor and let her know like I'm not going to be here. Like I don't know if I'm going to have Wi-Fi in order to do like the assignments and stuff like that. And because like I was so like transparent and communicated with her the entire semester, I was able to, um, she let me like have an extra week to do like those assignments. So that's super good. So there's a tip for that. Um, all my in-person classes is like just as much as you have fun, you have to like make sure that you're studying abroad <laughs> because I know so many people who like got out and went out literally like every single night to a club or a bar was at like a party every weekend or traveling to another country and fell back on like their studies. And there are some people who can do that and still perspire, but there are so many other people who like I know cannot pass <laughs> if they're not like on their stuff, you know what I mean? So make sure that you're studying abroad more than, sorry, I got a text message. <laughs> make sure that you're studying abroad as well as enjoying your time abroad, you know? Um, I also was able to have my mom and little sister come visit me during my last week. And that was super dope. I took them to go see all the sites. And even though I was, like, studying and stuff like that, I made time for them. So if your parents want, like, a good excuse to go to another country, that's another thing to, like, show out to them if they want to do that um, to get them on the board being abroad um during my time abroad as well I was able to secure the bag with my internship and also like become a brand ambassador for another company so look out for all that stuff on my social media which you should follow it's all the same 
I'm sorry. But this has been my little closing video. You, you guys don't want to see my belly. <laughs> but um, this has been... I hear like things in my house which should not be the case. But anyways, um, yeah, this has been my video on studying abroad. If you guys have any questions at all, whether it's study abroad, online classes, the program, especially that my school did, Rome, Italy, traveling by yourself as a college student, because this is my very first time traveling without my, like, my mom around me. And, like, at first I was super scared. But, like, when I started booking tickets to, like, Barcelona and Amsterdam and, like, all that stuff, like, by myself, I was super confident and adulting. Thumbs up. <laughs> so, I also um, had a job on campus. So, if you want to know anything about that. Um, I'm 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 I